Welcome back to Let's Play Kirby's Dream Land 2, episode... Uh, well, uh, Kirby's Dream Collection... Yeah, fuck it. Welcome to the finale of Let's Play Kirby's Dream Land 2. We are at level 7, the Dark Castle. All right! All right. I, um... I don't think I like this game anymore. Like, the entire game, or just this level? Eh, well, not, not as much as I did as a kid. Like, I can look back at, well, five of the six Kirby games, and they will still hold up. Two? Not so much, I'm afraid. No. And, uh, we're gonna see why, because this is, once again, the b of B-teams. I'm telling you what. I'm, I'm seeing a and, lot of, uh, a lot of fly here, like, uh, you don't really have to do much for this part of the level. Well, that's because we still have Koo. That's, that's not the game designer's fault, that's just our fault. No. Well, <laughs> actually, it is the game designer's fault because they brought in Koo, which breaks the game. <laughs> so but, that's why speedrunners oh. love him. Oh. Yeah, and he's also fast, too, so is that... Duh. What? Anyway, uh, I have a lot of contempt for this level because uh, where most Kirby games save uh, the levels for their final world, for like their hardest and their most bombastic uh, challenges, this one just... well, you'll see. Uh, first off here, uh, this is gonna be a theme. There's gonna be a mini-boss at the end of every single stage in this world. Oh, really? That is the end? That's the, that's the end. It's got the stars on it. That's how every single final room in this dark castle is going to be. Oh, God. They are completely 100% out of ideas, and you don't even <laughs> know how out, of, how out of ideas they are. Oh, no. Well, let's just focus on what we got right now. We got a swimming section. Well, uh, we got Koo right now, so not really helping us too much, but if we had Kine, that would be, so uh, a little trade-off there, I suppose. I mean, we could go for, like, burning, drowning bird instead of just firefish, so... Well, uh, not anymore, because you lost your power. Deep-fried waterfowl? <laughs> just imagine going to a fancy restaurant, you lift your pinky and go, Yes, I'd like the deep-fried waterfowl, please. And then they play that segment from Crucial Land 2. It's <laughs> oh, delicious. Ah, beautiful. If only they had kind, but they don't. <laughs> Commoners! Alright, so, um... Like I said, this Kirby game is really running out of ideas. I just saw back there earlier uh, a room where we could get power-ups. Mm -hmm. Just a whole bunch of enemies in cages that we could just suck up, you know. That's that's common. And here we just got three one-ups, just here you go. <laughs> you know, no okay. big fucking deal. Okay, sure. You're up to 51 now, so that's an achievement. Yeah, we got, we got plenty to work with. So now, just because the, le le the level design's been so bland, uh, we've got these pits here that take you down to these pillars that, uh, probably give you a last chance if you have Kine or, uh, Rick. But, I'm just thinking maybe there's some kind of a door down here? Yeah, there's yeah. Kind of secret pet. But nope, there's nothing down here. <laughs> it's a just waste. a fucking hallway. I mean, the least they could do is, like, throw you a one-up or something like that. Like, if you didn't see the room, or if you didn't go in the room with the three one-ups, you had a chance to get one there, well, maybe? They, are, they already gave me three! Well, I know, but what if you just, like, went past it, and there's some down there, but no, it's just pits. What if they just had the one in, like, the third one? Well, that would be better. It would be something. That would... That means that uh, that would uh, not only uh, keep me from being punished for choosing uh, Rick or Kine, but it also rewards me for exploring. And then, of course, they gotta think, Kirby can just fly. There, there was, like, no danger there. And by the way, good job on beating the level. Yeah, how could you tell it was the end of the level? Uh, I mean, it looked kind of familiar. See, uh, instead of doing the one thing where they, uh take all the mini-bosses and put them into one gigantic level. They just spread them out throughout all seven of the levels. And, uh... Oh, good. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna long for the rematch tower, uh... Pretty, mm. pretty long here, so... Well... We that's fine, I guess. Like... Just going based on my experience, Triple Deluxe kind of did the mini-boss tower. Like, some of the last levels, it's just constant mini-boss after mini-boss. The thing is, they had uh, quite a bit of variety, and you never fought the same one in a world, and Ow. good job, you died on little springy dudes! Not only that, but uh, all those mini-bosses kind of fit into the setting and what was happening in the plot. 
I had... I'm also thinking of Robobot, I think. Uh, maybe. I still have to play yes. Robobot. Robobot has a lot of uh, mini-bosses appearing in the final stages. That's because you're at the big uh, the big warehouse, you know, where the big head honcho ah. the whole thing is. And uh, there's a lot of security robots get in your way, one after another. That was just a bunch of falling enemies. That's all that room was. Uh-huh. So here with another auto-scroller. Oh, no. Uh, you better memorize this pattern. Oh, here it is again, maybe? Yeah. Kinda. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Okay. Spike pit. <laughs> Alright, right, not bad. In terms of auto scrollers, this isn't too bad. This is about pretty standard. We're gonna see stuff like this in Superstar and even in 3. So, again, no, no problems there. And we'll even. Well. Well, almost. Uh, it's not a perfect, perfect gain there. So we'll go ahead and get Cutter then. All right, not bad. And oh, hey, we're at the end of the island. <laughs> uh, I'd like to give it the benefit of the doubt and say this is a limitation of the hardware, but no. Now, that stage wasn't too bad. It's, 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 that wasn't the issue I had. The issue's coming up, actually. Oh, okay. Mm, just, I'm getting ahead of just thinking about it. But I won't say anything. I'll see if you can figure it out. Okay. Let's go into, let's go into level four here. By the way, uh, there's a rainbow drop in this one too, right? In this uh, world. Yes, but in the seventh one. Blah! <laughs> yes! Still have silly deaths. Good. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, I'll just fly. And then Gordos Gordo fall out of the sky! Oh, no. Okay. Ow. Oh, shit. <laughs> Mennonite dudes are here. Oh dear. I can't inhale these guys. Oh no, you can't. I mean, I can uh, shoot a puffball at them, but I gotta get within, like, I gotta literally spit on them, and that's kind of what I do, actually. Spit right in their faces and they die from shame. <laughs> oh, you have a shame me as a knight! Oof. Ah, you have a shame me as a gamer. <laughs> so, Meta Knight's dudes are here. Is that part of the story? Yeah, well, uh, Meta Knight ain't here. It's just his dudes. There's no Meta Knight in this game. Really? Yeah, Meta Knight is not in this game. Oh, wasn't it this game remade to become Nightmare in Dreamland? That or was, uh, Adventure. Oh, duh. Okay, never mind, never mind. That because makes because it sense. was the good Kirby game. You see, that's the thing about a lot of these, uh, you know, uh, older Kirby... Uh, not Kirby games, but older Game Boy games. They try to be like their NES counterparts and uh, just can't just can't quite match up. See, that's why they're remaking Metroid 2. And to do that, they have to make an entirely new game from the ground up. <laughs> and then call it Metroid 2. Metroid... well, Metroid 2 is garbage. Hey, does this look familiar to you? Oh, hey, we remade it. Awesome. They did. They did remake it. I love remakes. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. They are out. Right. They are out. They, are, they have... they got nothing. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was boring. They they took the wrong development cycle. Mm. See, what you do is you start at the end, start at the beginning, and then try to work your way towards the middle. So if there's a, a long board part or a part where you ran out of ideas, it's in the middle part of the game. So you don't have to lose the impact of the ending, and you don't uh, lose players by having a boring beginning. You see what I mean? Hmm. It's like they went from World 1 to World 7, and they ran out of things to do by World 6. I think they could have just taken World 7 out and combined World 7 and 6. Hey, does this look familiar? It's the exact same thing as 2! I think maybe that all of the levels should have had, like, 5 stages in them. Well, maybe not 5, but... Maybe four. All of them should have had four stages and a boss stage. Yeah? That would, have been a, that would have been a good balance. It would have spread out the ideas pretty easily. Maybe you could have had, like, five or six for this last level here, because... I see what they're going for here, but, man... It is a very, very cheap, cheap thing to do. Yeah? They're trying to go for symmetry here, you see? Because this is the exact same thing that we saw earlier. It is, and I wish it wasn't. 
But lo and behold, it is. Oh, God. Koo, get us out of here. So, they literally made only three levels for this. Well, level seven is unique. But levels one through three are the same as levels four through six. And I guess they're just not going to let us have those one-ups this time. Fine, then. Who cares? I've got enough to spare anyway. <laughs> I've got a few. Hey, Koo, you want some extra lives? They even got these uh, spark, these spikes here too. But look, it's on the opposite now. It's, oh, see, it's different. It's, yeah, it's, no. It's a mirror. And, uh, eh. And oh, we must be at the end of the stage now. <laughs> this was cobbled together like in one, like one day before the deadline. I'm trying to think at this point, they kind of turned their game into a MacGyver concoction. It's like, how can we put these last few levels together? Anybody got some toothpicks and toothpaste? Let's put this together. Let's, let's make these last levels. I got it. Symmetry! They were too busy putting naked ladies in their fucking... <laughs> No, that was a last-minute thing. That had to go in. It's like they put a bunch of things on paper of, like, things that have to go in this Kirby game. Kirby, friends, naked lady made of pixels. Yes! What up? Well, I guess we just keep on going here. How much you want to bet it's going to be, like, the exact same fucking thing as level three? I have a sneaking suspicion that that is the case, and wow, that Gordo was very rudely placed. Oh, hey, look, it's the exact same fucking thing. So, uh, here's another room where I'm gonna rip my hair out. Oh, no. Is Kine too big for these, pl like, platforms? Not platforms, uh, he, but... Uh, having a places. friend does... Having a friend does increase the size of your hitbox. You have to... You, you have, uh, Kirby can go through, uh, one, one size holes, I guess. Mm. But, uh, you need two for a friend. Hmm. And, uh, uh oh, shit. Oh, well, God, that looks... Oh. painful. So, uh, this is my curse. Oh, do you remember? Oh, no! <laughs> no, 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 no! Man. You should have remembered! Uh-huh, I should have remembered, but I didn't remember. It's a shame, it's a crying shame. Mm-hmm. Oh, believe me, I'm crying on the inside. And, uh, <laughs> this is what I mean by my curse. I got to the very end. And died. And died. Mm-hmm. I will never get that far again. Oh my god, no! <laughs> no! <laughs> Kirby's yelling for his animal friends. No! So like three lives later, I well, uh, mm. <laughs> so like four lives later, uh -huh, I, uh, yes. this, <laughs> this is the one. He, okay, here's what I'm doing right now. I went to Game Facts. What? And I pulled up a map what? because I was like, "Fuck this!" I never, <laughs> I, I never got any further than I did that time. That first time, I never got any further. So, like, I'm, d I'm done with this. I'm already going like half an hour recording this shit anyway. <laughs> the patience she wears thin. <laughs> Especially for this game. If it was Kirby Superstar, I would, I would at least have some bright colors and some better music to soothe myself to. Uh, right, right. So I wanted to call myself out on uh, using game facts before people say, Whoa, he's at the front of the screen, he must be really good now! No, I'm not. <laughs> Actually, I'm pretty garbage. <laughs> and so is Kirby's Dream Land, too. Hey, the internet and game facts were both around in 1995, so I do not feel bad at all. Really? Yeah, I, I, yeah, I think. Mm -hmm. I, think, I think game facts has been around that long. Mm -hmm. If not a damn long fucking time, then. Did they post awesome ACII arcs in the art in their uh, in their game facts? You, you know, just say ask. Oh, shit. ASCII? Uh, just say ASCII. There we go. There, all right. And so there he completed go. another level. Well, thankfully that was the last of the repeats, and now we got World 7, which is where the rainbow drop is. I thought you were going to say World 7 is a combination of every one of these levels. <laughs> oh, what? So we got a tower here first. You got to be quick on your feet there. Well, fuck. All right. All right, cool. 
Oh, and, I love uh, Mighty Jill off. Go, go, go! <laughs> so, this may seem like an ordinary dark room, but, uh... If you come in here with kind and Spark and light it up, each one of these single blocks shows an ability. Oh. Because this is the whole rest of the level. This? You gotta, you gotta select what ability it is. Our first one here is fire. And then we gotta choose the correct door to go through. Oh. So not only do you gotta know the right ability, but you also gotta go up there having the right ability and know which door to, to break oh. through, because you can't go through those uh, platforms right there. Oh, no. Those are one way, my friend. You cannot go back down from there. It's a puzzle? A little bit of a puzzle, a little bit of a, of a memory game. Oh. You come here with Kind of Spark, write it down, and then go from there. That's kind of more of what Kirby's Dream Land 3 is aiming to be. I mean, it's it's, kind of... it's a cool idea, I'll be honest, but I wish they didn't have... I wish the solution to the puzzle wasn't locked behind, hey, you need a friend with this ability specifically. Well, it's not a friend, just that ability. Oh, just Spark? Yeah, but but Kine and Spark lights up the room, and you and it shows up what abilities you will need to go through all these doors to get to the right room, and there is a rainbow drop. Oh, okay. Otherwise, I thought... it, just, otherwise it just spits you out at either side <laughs> or above. Okay, I thought that was for beating the actual level. Okay, if it's for the rainbow drop, then yeah, I like that. I like this idea a bit more. Yeah, that's yeah yeah. Oh, what? <laughs> I thought I was like, wow, that's pretty bullshit for the last level. Speaking of bullshit, they just dropped the mini boss on me. I noticed that. Yeah, they seem to be dropping a lot of things on on you for artificial difficulty, and I hate that. Uh huh. The pain hasn't begun yet, though. Still, still a bit left to go. Like right now, when you die. Uh, uh, and oh, you, there we I go. was not right. You are not right. I was correct. Good job. I was. I was successful, and we'll get that back. Mm -hmm. up. Tomato! Yes! And now we are ready for the final boss. Wow. Alright, so... The thing about this is that, uh... You can't fit a friend through this corridor. You have to go by yourself. <gasps> but that was the whole point of the game, was to have friends! And now you are locked into this final boss. You can't escape, you, I don't think you can even pause, but uh, you are trapped in here. And when you die, you will just go right back right back here. Oh, really? Yep, you won't, you're not gonna go back outside. You are trapped here in the final boss, my friend. And well, this that's is kinda King, mean. This is King DDD Mach 2. One thing it huh. does do is it does evolve the Kirby, the Kirby, the, the King Dedede fight a little bit. Because, <laughs> you know, he does his usual stuff that he did in Adventure Oof. in Dreamland, where he jumps, he's got the two stars, you know, but he, he throws his hammer and explodes and those stars hurt you. And now he also gets pissed! Oh my and gosh. He, and he's got, like, supercharged powers now, because, you know, he moves and he inhales now. He's fast as hell, that explodes, that goes everywhere. And oh my god! Don't show up. Oh man, that explosion's chasing me! Holy man, crap! Hey, this, this guy is angry when he sleeps. Oh, gee. Alright, he's calmed down. I was about to say, this dude's sleeping a lot, how could it be hard? But, yeah, don't wake him from his nap. It's based on a cycle, I think. Uh, when you get when he gets down to a certain health, he does it more often. So, uh... This is kind of maddening. This... This guy's all over the place. I really do like this boss, though. But... Uh, oh, not anymore! Despite the... Uh, I still like it. So, a couple more tries later, here's the wind fight. <laughs> I love how he... He starts running towards you, then... <laughs> Boom out! When you're uh, dealing with anger management <laughs> and you're a narcoleptic and you sleepwalk all at the same time. God, I think I've made this joke before, but the case of the narcoleptic insomniac. It's like I just want to sleep. Why can't I sleep? The <laughs> guy doesn't even realize he keeps nodding off. Ow! Ah! <laughs> Dirty trick there, Kingy. So is this actually DDD or is this somebody else? Oh, it's DDD, all right. Okay. This is DDD. I I think it's just because I've never seen him like actually be a threat. Cause this fight actually looked tough. Oh yeah. 
I mean, uh, we've proven this game is a bit harder than uh, most of the other Kirby games. I mean, it's the hardest one we've faced so far. Mm-hmm. Would you agree this is harder than Triple Deluxe? Because I, I, I think it is. I don't know. The entire boss fight of Triple Deluxe is pretty great, but, uh, yeah, the DDD fight was nothing. <laughs> Especially when you find out that the fighter ability is absolutely broken. Oh, I think Spark is even more broken than that. <laughs> I'll agree with you on that. And that's right. boom. We're gonna get to plasma. All right, so DDD goes to the center of the room and dies. Die. So now, because we have all seven rainbow drops, we get to move on to the good ending. Oh. The game would have just ended otherwise if we didn't have all seven of these. <laughs> so he just dies. Yeah, he just dies. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit, you're gonna execute him! Oh, look at there! King DDD was just controlled by Nightmare all along. Or, no, this is Dark Matter. Or Zero? I don't know. So what is this guy really? Because I noticed uh, people were calling you out on getting the boss's name wrong in the other game. Well, I don't really know, so how about <laughs> if I just have post-text give me a bit of a hand here? There we go, so you gotta sword fight this guy? This is cool! Uh-huh, we got the rainbow sword. <laughs> Looks kind of gray to me. Is this a, uh, is this a dying rainbow, or...? Y yeah, this game really should have been in color. Mm-hmm, yes. I, th I think it was at this point that they realized that Kirby games should definitely not be in black and white anymore. So they made a whole bunch of spin-offs where he's in black and white all the time. <laughs> now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm seeing him taking, like, two hits per block of health. Uh, when he, uh, when he charges that little ball of, uh, magic or whatever, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to hit them back at him, and that's how he takes massive damage. Oh, okay. But, uh, if you do his sword, that's a way to do it, too, but, uh, well, uh, eh. I mean, right. slashing phase still two. works. Oh, phase two! This is the true face of the enemy. Jeez, uh, uh, what a face yeah. it is. Oh, 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 okay. Uh, right in your face. All right, well, that's 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 not, that's not bad. Well, okay, all right. Oh, jeez. <laughs> this is actually kind of freaky. I know. It's like Kirby Kirby final bosses are the best, man. It's kind of uh reminds me of Vadi from the Four Swords series. She uh and there you go. That'll do it. So where does that take me? You know it. Oh man, really? Yep. Really? Oh, well, okay. Let's take him down quickly. Let's show off a better strat here, then. This is not a better strat. <laughs> so oh, I see. To, you're supposed to be able to hit that back at him, and that's how you're supposed to get the major hits, because it breaks into four. Oh. And, and if you hit it just right, at the correct time, you can hit it with four shots at once. Whoa. Uh-huh. Oh, there we go. Uh-huh. And there's your strat. There is your strat. Whoop. I'm trying <laughs> to get hit, either. You need to have plenty of health for the second boss fight, because he's going to give you plenty of problems, too. Did you see how uh, his movements are uh, kind of calculated, and you can kind of see where he's going and all that? Yeah. It moves in a clear arc. Yeah. Not so much for the second guy. He kind of goes uh, all over the place. And he just so much as sneezes on you, you know, that that takes away health, so... Let's give this a second try. Good on! Good start! All right. Yep, yep, excellent start. So those are the four things you're supposed to hit back at him to hit him for massive health, but, uh... I wanna... I wanna bring something, uh, to your attention. Yes. See the background there? Yes. We're falling. I noticed, yeah, we were getting close to spikes the other time. We're also dead. Well, yes, that just comes with the territory, I think. So this is the wind fight. As you can see, I had to use a lot of lives here. Jesus! So, uh... Let's, uh, see if we can find a better strategy against this guy. I mean, there's a few more attacks we haven't even shown off yet. Oh, wow. Maybe, uh, is it better for us to wait it out for a moment to attack, or do we need to keep hitting him whenever the moment's right? Hmm, can you hit those back? Nope. So 
Mm -hmm. He charges three times across the across the screen, top, middle, and bottom. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, gee. All right. He's got lasers. That I swear lock onto me. Mm, kind of looks like it. Like right behind him. There's a way to do. Oh shit! Rat trees. Rat trees. Panic! Panic! Oh no! Uh, mm, <laughs> you just start falling faster. Oh. Uh, what a world! How, how do we take half of his health bar? That's crazy. I don't know, but you're back here. Okay, so here's the perfect, perfect run. Honest. For reals. Honest? Here's, yes, honest. Turns out, uh, hitting him is not even a good strategy. You can just exclusively hit him with the be with the energy balls that he hits back. You'll be at a good safe distance. You'll be able to know what when he's attacking and what he's doing. And it's, if you hit it right, that's the best way to hurt him. Hmm. Yeah, I noticed when you were just attacking with a sword, it wasn't doing anything. Yeah, it's like four hits per bar, I think. Ugh. And uh, well, uh, we have all the time in the world up here, but not so much in the. Uh, <laughs> yeah. All right, so far so good. We got him down to half health. Again, it's good to try to do a perfect run here because you need to have as much health as you can so you can take some hits for the second fight. Yeah, it seems easy enough, and that's what I can be thankful for because two phase boss fights where you you die and you go back to the first phase are uh annoying. It's not as bad as three, but I swear, I swear to crap, when he gets down to this uh, low health, this is when he just decides, eh, I'm gonna stop throwing those energy balls, <laughs> and then he just fucking doesn't. <laughs> oh, wait, I keep shooting my weakness at him, and he keeps Maybe hitting it back. So hit the, hit the lasers, charge, come back over here, draw his sword again, charge again. Da All right. uh, down and back. Char charge again. Da okay, right. yep, down and back. Oh, he got a good hit on me. <laughs> mm. Lasers again. Draw the sword again. L more lasers. Shoot. All right. <laughs> Should I be charge falling again. at this time? Sure. Uh, I mean, I've there been up go. here for a while. There we go. All right, one more. You gonna do it for me, man? Oh, well, there's lasers. Nope, just gonna hurt you. And there we go. Ah, right, uh, yes, that was good RNG there. I'm glad I was able to get that. So, uh, the best way to hit him, actually, is to go behind him when he launches those, so that way you can hit him from behind, but you gotta be quick about it, though. That was... Mm. Oh, oh, this is not going great. Uh-huh. But I do find it's good to... T to hit pot shots when you can, when you're in a safe area, or a safe distance away from him, and you know what he's doing. Charge there, charge there. Ah! Oh, great. Mm-hmm. So well, this, this, is... Gonna, this ain't gonna go well at all. Uh-huh. Uh, so for realsies this time, this is the actual, actual good fight. Yes, this is. <sighs> so... I just, wanted you, I just want you to know, this is the kind of pain I had to go through for almost an hour. Oh, boo-hoo. But look at that. In one hit, I took out, like, three bars. Damn. And hey, there's another bar. So now is he going to feel sorry for me and just keep throwing energy balls my way? I guess he is. <laughs> oh my god, it, it's based on the mercy rule. It's like, wow, you spent like 15 lives here already. There you go, have a golden tanuki leaf. None of those, though. See, out of, out of all the accusations that Kirby has of being a kid's game, I don't think there's a golden tanuki suit in, well, at least not in this game or any of the games in the Dream Collection. I don't know if there was one in any of the newer ones. I don't think so, because... Surprisingly, I died a lot in certain sections of Triple Deluxe because I was trying to get 100%, and they didn't cut me any slack. So it drew a line in the sand. Alright, I think we got this. Uh, you were saying... I'm getting greedy. 
Never yeah. speak. Have patience. I need to wait for the ball in. There. Boom! All right. This is it. This you said that last time. <laughs> I say a lot of things. Bam! Check that shit out. Oh now he's on my, my gosh! Level. So much better. He does the second time. Bam! Check Boom! All right. This is beautiful. Hell yeah. So why didn't you do this the other ten million times? Well, I don't know. Because it didn't occur to me. <laughs> it, it was actually a pretty good placement when I got there. So what you saw there was luck, not skill. <laughs> you looked up a speed run, didn't you? Is this game facts working again? I will say that a task did help me in planning out this run. Oh shit! Yeah, oh, the lasers. I see. I swear it's locked onto me. Yeah, it is. Oh no! There we go. Hey, we did it. That's it. And, and Courage is like, oh, I'm done. I'm gonna fall to Earth now. <laughs> hey, it's Wispy. No. <laughs> <laughs> Tears down all of Dreamland. Sky turns red. Then black. <laughs> you remember Sonic Unleashed? How uh, the world basically blew up and it was just a bunch of pieces. That, that's what Kirby ends up doing when he collides with Earth or Dreamland. I remember that game had a bunch of chili dogs. Wait, I need to live for the chili dogs because that's food like strawberry shortcake. Oh I God. will persevere. I hate chips so much. Oh, that's it. That's it. That's Kirby's Dream Land 2. What'd you think? Uh, well, save for the last half of the game, it was pretty cool. Eh, not bad. It influenced a lot, because it had the friends, and, uh, well, uh, combining abilities with just one, because there were only seven abilities compared to, like, the, what, nine or fourteen in, uh, Kirby's Adventure? Something like that, yeah. I mean, a lot of them, a couple of them were repeats, pretty much, but, uh, you know... Level design just didn't feel as varied, because you see a lot of these names, I don't I don't know any of them. None of them are none of these guys I know from the standard Kirby games pretty much. I didn't I don't see Masahiro Sakurai's name on there, I didn't see uh Juni Shikawa's name on there. And oh look. look at the beautiful dull rainbow we have here. <laughs> I was just thinking that too. I was like, wow, that's kind of anticlimactic, a gray rainbow. Now it just looks like a cyclone on top of Dreamland. So as you can see, we only have 99%. Oh no, please say- yes! Yes, well, World 7's minigame! What are we missing? It, well, uh, I only said there were six bonus chances. Oh right, that's right. So, that door will just take you right to the boss, so... What do we do? Well, my friend, let's head to 5-3. What?! Yep, we're gonna head to 5-3, as we're gonna 3 do. What'd you miss there? We didn't, we didn't miss anything. We'll go in here, and, uh, we'll go up into, uh, Koo's little room here. Kill that enemy, and pick up Koo. Alright. We'll head on out of here. And we'll head back on in. Head back up. And, oh, I forgot I have no way to kill this enemy. That, well, I guess I gotta kill him there. And, uh, get, get Koo back. So there. This room will always spawn Koo. Are we clear? Yeah, okay. Yes. Great. I need to avoid that guy. I need to get an ability. Uh, yeah, Parasol will do. It's a nice good one with a large hitbox. So we'll exit and go back in again. Uh, we'll go back up to Koo's place. And... Oh, look! It's Gooby. Alright. We'll exit again. And we'll go back in again. What's go the back hell? in here. And kill that enemy. And... Oh, it's another Gooby. Alright. So we'll do this, uh, we'll, we're, we're gonna keep doing this cycle. We're gonna keep exiting the level, we're gonna keep entering the level, we're gonna go to Koo's room, and we're gonna kill the enemy, and then... What?! The girl blob, which may be Choo Choo from Kirby's Dream Land 3. That so counts towards your percentage?! Well... There's your 100%. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I have no idea why, but we got a sound test, we got a uh, boss rush, and we got bonus. By random chance? Well, they had to explain why she's playing the piano. What? No! No, that's bad! It's like, hey, we'll see you in Kirby's Dream Land 3, am I right? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I have no idea why... Forcibly uh, getting that girl blob counts as a one wh percent. Why? I don't know. Oh, that's terrible! So the bonus chances are just well to win the 
bonus chances. Oh, that's bad! That, I mean, I, I love the idea of having Kirby, you know, sitting around a bar with his animal friends, just going like, Yeah, what a fucking game, am I right? <laughs> but, oh, that's terrible. Oh, nobody should ever do that ever in a game. Something based on random chance for that 1%. Do you know how many kids would rip their hair out? You know how many kids did? I mean, yourself included, probably. I don't think I ever 100%ed this game until I played it on, a, on an emulator years later. Oh my god, that was terrible! It was! It, it, and I, it, it was. And, and I uh, love 100%ing games! And that's just mean! So, uh... I was gonna let you vent for a little bit as we uh, figure out that this bonus minigame series really has no point. It's just all the bonus minigames. Oh, in oh my gosh. Oh, so, uh, what a let's, reward! Let's get the hell out of here. We'll see you next time on Let's Play Kirby's Dream oh, Collection, geez. where we're gonna be playing a better Kirby game, Kirby Superstar. Oh, see you next time! Thank God. Superstar, save me! <laughs>